click on next. Here you have a choice to let access add a primary key for you or you can choose your own primary key from the fields that you have. In our case we are going to let access decide what the primary key should be and because there was nothing access created one for us. Click on next. Decide whether you want to import the table as the name it was saved as or if you want to change the name you may change the name. Click on finish. Overwrite existing table or query grade 8 say yes. Once you've done that we are not going to save the import steps. Close. You will note that now there is a new table called grade 8. If you open it you will see that it will exist and have the numbers and the names and the ages and the date of births that we have selected in our import process. 